Do you enjoy recording your piano playing, but get tired of having audio that sounds sort of rather like this? Then let me show you how you can turn it into something that would sound much more like this. Stay tuned for details of my free book that gives you a step-by-step -step guide of how to go about doing just that. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hi, this is Tommy with Tommy's Piano Corner. The place for returning pianists, or indeed anybody who loves the piano, to share tips and ideas of how to get the most from this great hobby. If this is your first trip here, then please do subscribe. All you need to do is click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen now and it's done for you. I spend quite a lot of time interacting with my fellow pianists on Facebook, on YouTube and even on Reddit. And it's quite surprising how often when people post a video of their playing, they'll also publish an apology for the poor quality of the audio that they're able to get. If you're already familiar with my channel, then you'll know that I did put together a series of videos to help out with this, to show you how to film yourself better using really just your smartphone. I've included a link below to the full playlist for you if you're not familiar with it and you'll see that there are videos there on how to improve both the video quality and the audio quality of everything that you film. In these different videos, basically what I did was gave you a quick overview really of how to do things, not going into lots and lots of detail, but just really enough stuff to get you started along the path. However, it later occurred to me that in order to work out what I'd managed to work out, there was an awful lot of trial and error involved. I must have watched literally hundreds of hours of YouTube videos and tutorials on how to do various things. And of course, I guess 80% of what I watched wasn't particularly relevant. But until you've watched something through to the end, you can't really be 100% sure whether you need to continue watching the video or not. That's really what made me think that it would be worth creating this little ebook series that goes into a lot more detail of how to do this and takes you through it in a more step-by-step -step way with more background information included. I released the first volume of this ebook series, I don't know, a few weeks ago now. And that was really focused more on the kind of equipment that you need to be able to film with your smartphone and then basically how to go about doing it in the most simple way. Now today in volume two, we'll take it a little step further by looking more at actual audio editing techniques that we can use to improve the quality of the audio we're able to get. Within the ebook, I've demonstrated using GarageBand simply because that's the software I use generally. However, as I've demonstrated before, audio editing software is actually based on real life hardware, real life equipment. So the way the software is organized, the kind of controls that you get, the basic layout is all based on that. So 80% of what you need is already in this. You just need to translate it to a different piece of software. Of course, if you need ideas of what that different piece of software might be, then I'd invite you to check out the video that I recorded on recording your piano using an Android device, where I give you some ideas of audio editing software that's available free of charge or for a small fee for the kind of device that you're using. Volume two of my ebook is split into two main parts. In the first part, I start off by explaining to you how you can go about recording your audio separately, including ideas on the apps that you can use to help you do this, 
so that at the end of it, you end up with a separate high quality audio file that you can use. This same first section then goes on to talk about how you can do what I'm calling multi-take recordings. So you know when you find it very difficult to get a, an absolutely no perfect take in one go, how you can basically do multiple takes that allow you to then create a better version by editing out the errors, so to speak. Finally, I take a look at how you can think about microphone placement when you're recording your audio separately. You know, if you did a Google search for this, you'd find that the number of options available is really quite staggering. But of course, we'll just be using our phone and the plugged in microphone, which makes it a little easier to do. In the second part of the book, I start to give you more of an introduction into what a digital audio workstation is. So, you know, effectively the, the piece of software on your computer that's going to allow you to process your audio files. I look at the main controls that you can expect to see there, the types of commands that you've got, the basic way that these pieces of software are laid out, and whether it's GarageBand that I'm using as the example or some other software package, you'll find that it'll be 80% the same when you look at it carefully. After that, I give you the detailed guide on how to add reverberation and equalization using just the standard plugins that are available. Again, the basic process that you follow to do this will be the same irrespective of whatever software package you're using. So you'll find this guide a very helpful reference that will show you at least the things that you need to look for in your chosen software package. To get hold of volume two and of course volume one, follow the link in the description below where in exchange for your email address and first name, you'll be redirected to the free download link of both of these volumes. And of course that way, when volume three, which will be all around how to improve your visuals by using some simple video editing techniques, when I've released that, I'll be able to let you know by email that it's there for you to download also. If you're not already, then please do remember to subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner. Click that little bell icon so that you're notified of all new videos as and when they're released. I do thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.